it's kind of hard to feel sorry for for Georgie when after you said, um, I know who the killer is, it was Georgie, he goes, yeah, I did it, so what? It's like, you, you can't really sympathize with him after that. He's just like an asshole all of a sudden. So, yeah, well, he's always been an asshole, just, yeah. Just like a super asshole. It's like, oh my god, I can't believe you. Um, anyway, uh, have you finished with your beverage, or do you want to take another second? No, I'm alright, I'm good. Alright. Uh, now the bottle's open, it shouldn't tss anymore. <laughs> That's good. <laughs> okay. Oh, god damn it, this train outside my house, I swear to god. I'm gonna let it pass, just give me a second. <laughs> I don't know why. I, I guess it's because it's a little later in the morning. Now I'm getting. Yeah. Now we're getting more trains. Today's a Sunday. You'd think there'd be less, but oh well. I guess everyone's got to go up to San Fran for church or something. All right, there we go. Um. That was a sloppy episode opening, but anyway, whatever. Uh, welcome back, guys. It's Wolf Among Us. We uh, last time took care of Georgie Porgy, and this time we're going to go after his master, the Crooked Man, hopefully, and bring him to justice. And Bloody Mary is obviously with him. Yeah. Shepherd Metalworks. There's Limousine. Still warm. He's here, all right. Besides anything else, you know, he's got the alchemical labs and all the other things, so even of if course. he didn't. You know, do the murders himself. He's still got lots he is responsible for that we should really sort out as sheriff. Yeah. He's done a lot of bad. We we need to bring him to justice. And, you know, Beauty and the Beast are relying on us to uh, sort out their loans, apparently. Yeah, I kind of forgot about that. All right. There's the packages, I think... So this is where they've been sending these. I, I um, subtle detail. Whenever you sh you have a shadow that's plain black and you shadow over something that is already black, it turns white. So you can continue to see it. That's a cool style thing. Kind of unimportant in the moment oh. as we're getting to the final boss fight, but whatever. <laughs> <laughs> Big B Wolf. The Big Bad Wolf. <laughs> you used to be something. So, known about our investigation pretty much the entire time. That's mm. not a surprise. Mm -hmm. They used to fear you. They'd hide anywhere their small shivering bodies would fit. I think that's the torture wheel that the crooked man uses. Or whatever uses to make crooked things, I don't know. Are we going to fashion ourselves a weapon, like Dead Island? Silver. The big bad wolf. It's about time you showed up. Yeah. I had to take care of some things first. Little errand boy. That's nice. 
Ah, Bigby. I see you've made it here in one piece. I do apologize, but I have some business to attend to. I leave you in the capable hands of my associate. Come find me when you finish, dear. Don't worry. This won't take long. Get out of my way, now. Don't make this worse. Aw, he doesn't want to play. I'm sure you'll persuade him. <laughs> Cut this shit out! Didn't your mother ever teach you manners? Or was she too busy fucking whatever breeze drifted through town? Okay, I've had about Ooh. enough of you. Oh, come on! Is that the best you can do? This is just action all the way. Creepy. Whoa. She's a something. Bloody quick, man. Whoa. Ah, Q, 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 Apparently Is that your first fail? Oh no, I failed a lot. I don't think uh, it really advertises the fails when you do them. Oh, okay. Yeah, the noise it's making is unnerving. Like a lot of glass sounds at once. Oh. Super Saiyan 3! Wow. Power is 
really know how he threw those now he did. expecting that <laughs> yeah <sighs> pretty crazy <sighs> the huff and puff bit was pretty silly but I liked it uh, yeah yeah Hello, Bigby. You look tired. Give me one good reason not to rip you apart right now. This gun holds six rounds of specially designed silver bullets. Now, I may not be the best shot, but I can guarantee that at least one bolt will meet its mark, and you'll find yourself rolling on the floor in agony, unable to heal yourself. Without Swineheart to save you, you'll die. Is that reason enough for you? Before you do anything with me, I thought I should point out a few things. Snow White wants you to bring me back to the woodlands, doesn't she? And that's what I want. That's right. But what happens to you once you get there is a different story. I'm not quite finished. You will bring me back alive. Look, all I ask for is the chance to speak for myself in front of the community. And I'm sure Miss White would agree that I should be given a fair trial. Can we at least agree on that? I will have a trial. Are we clear? You need to tell me right now. We're not going anywhere until I get some answers from you. If you want answers, you're going to have to cooperate with me. Look, there's no reason for us to be at each other's throats here. That's funny, coming from a guy pointing a gun at my head. This is just a precaution. I'm sure you understand. I'm no murderer, Mr. Wolf. I didn't kill those women, and I think you know that. All I'm asking for is a chance to explain my side of the story. Maybe you didn't carry it out, but I don't think Georgie was lying when he said you ordered their deaths. Georgie would have said anything to save himself. We both know that. I'm a businessman, not a killer. There's still a lot you have to answer for. And I will, as long as you agree to my terms. Because I'm not saying another word until I'm brought before the community. I don't mean to belabor the point, but just so we're clear, if you change your mind and decide to do something stupid, you won't get your answers. But you will have a difficult time explaining yourself to Miss White and the rest of this miserable town. You're often reckless, and I worry you're not thinking of the let me ask you an honest question. What do you really care about here? Where this case is concerned, I mean. Do you really want the truth? This is about protecting Fable Town. When some asshole murders two of our people, it's my job to bring them down. Then why are you here? You know who murdered them. Georgie. He's dead, isn't he? My point being, the killer has been dealt with. You've won. You really think I'm that stupid? I understand you have an obligation to bring me in. But you can brighten up a little. It's over. So, shall we get going? All right, let's go. Hand over the gun. I think I'd rather hold on to it, if you don't mind. What do you say? Hey! I'm sure Miss White will be pleased. Such a reliable pup. I understand why she'd want to keep you around. You're under arrest. You'll be given a trial in front of your peers. <clears throat> and your punishment will follow.
I think that was all the right decisions there. I mm. agree, bringing him to trial. <laughs> yep. Good place to pause it too. Next time we will be bringing the crooked man to uh, forward towards the town. Uh, we're gonna have everything out in the open. Um, he's gonna get to talk. We're gonna get to talk, and we'll resolve his fate as well as ours. Talk, so, talk no jutsu. Yeah, basically. Like, yeah. <laughs> It's going to be a lot of talking. A lot of talking next time. I'm sure you're looking forward to it. Um, and I think it's going to be the finale episode. So for putting a ribbon on everything, so to speak. <laughs> Tune in next time. <laughs> oh, dear.